At the dawn of time, the roles of men and women were well defined. He lived an adventurous life, hunting, foraging, and providing. While she stayed in the security of their cave dwelling and made what little they had at home. But over millions of years, something strange happened. The lines blurred. Call it evolution or straight up confusion. But the modern relationship is so complicated. Just like every other couple throughout history, we had plenty of our own issues. While most people plan a date night, see a therapist, or secretly take out their frustrations during sex, we needed something much more intense. We needed an intervention. I guess we should start at the beginning. When Pam and I first met, like every other guy, I was just trying to scratch out a living. What about Venice? Too cliche. Yeah. Tokyo? You know, I don't think Francesca eats sushi. Oh, uh, well, we can't just take him to New York for dinner, so what's this answer? I don't know. They're black ops. Their standards are pretty high. Well, I'll think of something. Yeah. thing is, what happens in Kathmandu stays in Kathmandu. I've got our target. Egan Doyle. We don't know what kind of weapon he's trying to acquire, or from whom. He's moving quickly through the concourse. such a rush you'd have to be running recklessly through a mall without looking where you're going i mean it was rude and i've just gotten to a point in my life where i'm going to be one of these people that speaks up so this is me speaking up and i'm just curious what you might have to say other than you're sorry because you've already fucking said that and they should just be, I'm handing out free samples. What the hell are you doing, Corey? Go get Egan. It's all about customer appreciation, and I want you to know that, um, I appreciate you. I feel appreciated. Whoa, your hands. They're like, um, sandpaper. What are you, in construction or something? What the? No, I'm not construction. I work in uh, cardboard. Sell cardboard boxes. Right. Well, um, look. Uh, if you want, you can join our membership club. We can send you, um, you know, information on specials and coupons. I just, I need your email. Yeah. Join the club. Corey, Cor 
Is this thing working? Corey. 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 Shit, I'm sorry. I have to go. Is, is everything okay? Ah, uh, just this speeding. What about your email? Don't worry. I'll find you. Deacon. We lost Deacon. What the fuck? Jeez. Thought it was a bug. Don't worry. Uh, Corey's gonna be here any minute. Because he's year five, biggest getting child. Wow, you're really good. Oh my god. What were you in the Olympics or something? Just a little ice hockey growing up. I knew it. What? You're gonna be one of those guys who's good at everything. What's wrong with being good at everything? But when you're good at everything, nothing will really ever make you happy. It's not true. I'm totally happy. Are you? Yeah, I am. You want to know what I think? I think you're one of those guys who's always going to be looking up at the clouds, trying to figure out the next dream, the next accomplishment, trying to see every little part of the world and how to escape to it all, so you don't have to look in the mirror and find out who you really are. Where's the adventure in that, my dear? The adventure is finding out what's really inside. It's still kind of early. What do you feel like doing? No. <laughs> it's your turn. You can't expect me to come up with everything. All right, well, you can hop a jet to New York, catch a play. Jump on a yacht to Tahiti. Or we can head to Kenya for a safari. Your head is in the clouds. For a guy who sells cardboard boxes for a living, you have quite the imagination. Yeah, I guess I do. Look, I've got to get up early in the morning to open stores, so I think we should call it a night. Yeah. Yeah, we'll call it a rain check on our next adventure. I didn't freak you out earlier with my whole anti-thrill-seeking diagnosis. There's something about you. You, you, you're, you There's a word for it. You, you're, you're just, uh... Oh, God, no. No, look, I've been on way too many dates for people to pretend. You know, they're not themselves. It's not me. What you see is what you get. No, I get it. I'd much rather have you be real than... Present something I'm not. Right, yeah. I guess if you do want to come over, you can, but I'm going to be watching a movie, and I have laundry, like a lot of laundry stacks of it, in fact. I'd love to do laundry and watch a movie. You're messing me up. Coffee, you never miss. Yeah, well, I must be the gun. You know, ever since you failed that Egan mission, you haven't been the same. All right, so it's I failed one fucking mission one time. It's bound to happen sooner or later, okay? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you weren't off flirting with Pat. It's bad. Whatever. Just tell me you're not getting serious with this girl. Trust me. Him and I were just having fun. There's nothing serious about it.
you do if you could be someone completely different? And what do you mean? You know, don't you ever think about making some drastic change? You know, taking some risks, some chance just to you know, be something else. Oh yeah, sure. Why not buy a three-bedroom house and sell boxes from one place rather than chase corporate accounts all over the world? No, 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 no. You have to be something else. I mean, like for me, I've always, always, always wanted to have my makeup line. Really? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I can see the packaging, feel the products. I once even worked with the chemist on developing this firming cream. Firming cream? What is firming cream? Oh, you don't have to worry about it. You don't need it. Yet. All right, so if you got it all here, why not do it now? Now? Yeah, now. So says the cardboard box salesman. I mean, why don't you just change your career and become what you're dying to be? Well, you know I won't. Well, I know. I mean, as much as I see myself commanding a makeup empire, I don't want to sacrifice everything I have now. I think it'd be easier climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty difficult. I'd imagine. Although the Nepalese food is pretty good out here. <clears throat> so how long have you been thinking about that three bedroom house with a white picket fence? Ever since I met you. Yeah. I sort of had a similar thought. You did? Yeah, like this morning I was at Target and I saw this dinner where I sat down. I just suddenly thought these would be perfect for our dinner parties. What dinner parties? Corey. We're gonna have a lot of dinner parties. Is that all? Is that gonna make me young enough to make you the cougar? <laughs> yeah, well, um, they do come highly recommended, so. Have you ever seen one of these? They take you all over the world. You could ride the Harry train with me there. Okay, maybe one day. Don't take me off your boyfriend list. <laughs> I would. Cheers. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye, thank you so much. <laughs> I, I don't have a gag reflex, in case you were wondering. Here we go. You are a moron. Mm-hmm. Why? Because he had a frickin' black card. So? So? That card is an insurance policy, Pam. That card says you'd never have to work at this shitty job ever again. That card says, sorry, Brianna, I can't make it to your birthday party because my husband and I are vacationing in the Swiss Alps, and then we're going to our Italian villa where we're going to be waited on hand and foot by bronze-chested manservants. Brianna, you know I'm in a relationship. Ugh. Corey sells boxes, Pam, okay? I mean, is he cute? Yeah. Does his ass look good in a pair of jeans? Sure. Does he have a good personality? Why not? But at the end of the day, he sells cardboard fucking boxes, Pam. Do you know how boring that it's is? It's not boring. Is he James Bond? No, but, like, I don't want a James Bond. Well, good, because you got James Bland. I just want someone I can depend on, someone that is stable, light-minded, consistent. Well, you should have told me you were looking for that, because I would have hooked you up with my grandfather. Okay. Uh Okay. What does he do? Eat your pussy really good? I don't know. I don't get it. I'm not. I can't answer that question. You just quit. D what the hell? This whole spy life isn't what I want anymore, smuts. You said it yourself. I haven't been the same since I failed that last mission. It's because I'm not. Oh, God. <laughs> Please don't start with that romantic drivel about Pat. It's Pam. And yes, she's what I care about, smuts, all right? I love her. I'm ready to live that normal life that we've always been protecting. Really? Wow, okay. Uh, so you're telling me that you can't wait to go out, assume your cover, sell cardboard boxes, be chained to a desk, join a bowling league, start paying taxes, get a mortgage, have a car payment, fly commercial, start swimming in credit card debt? I mean, <laughs> what are you gonna tell me next that you... 
like drinking domestic beer? I love domestic beer. boxes are made of 100% recycled material. No, I can't give you a discount. What I can do is enroll you in our customer appreciation program, which does offer rewards on bulk orders. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, sir, but if you happen to change your mind, don't hesitate to call back and ask for Cardboard Corey. Oh. Welcome to the team. Well, let's knock them down and knock them back, huh? <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Taste this. <laughs> Mm, that's good. What is it? Nepalese Momo. I found them in this amazing cookbook that I picked up this weekend. I couldn't find the gym brew, but I think this will taste all right. What? It's a Nepalese dried onion. I'm testing for a dinner party. What dinner party? Corey. What? We're going to have a lot of dinner parties. <sighs> God, I would stay like this forever. And for the cave people, it did stay like that forever. But unfortunately, well, we ain't living in a cave. I thought you were gonna call and have that fixed. I thought fixed. you were gonna call and have that fixed. <sighs> no, we don't have any plastic bins. We don't have any metal containers. We don't sell steel drums, just boxes. Plain old fucking cardboard boxes. It's all about personality. It's all about passion. It's all about believing in what you sell. Look, I don't know what you want me to do here, Rick. All right, I watched the training video. I followed the sales manual. At the end of the day, I mean, they're just boxes. No, Corey, they're not just boxes. These are containers that move the treasures of our lives. Right, okay. Remember our motto. Think outside the box. <sighs> Freddy, come on, baby. Let's go. You got this. Four pins. It's all we need. Come on. Hey. What the fuck? First we lose the Polly's pies, then Tim's auto body, and now Diana's plural? I mean, what is this? I don't get it. Do you even realize that we are the laughing stock of this league? I mean, every time you throw a gutter or, or miss a spare, you guys just laugh it off, and it's not funny. I mean, I've tried to help you guys, right? I mean, Ted, I bought you finger grips. Where the hell are they at? Fred, I bought you lessons. Bob. Bob, you know, if anybody was on my side, I thought it'd be you. I bought you a wrist guard, and you don't even wear it. Well, why don't you quit? No. Winners don't quit, Ted. Winners win. I honestly don't give a shit about winning. Yeah, man. Do you know how much shit I have to deal with at home? I don't want any extra pressure. I don't want stress. I come here to drink beers and catch up with my guys. <laughs> hey, I forgot to tell you guys. My dual hood girl just showed up. It's incredible. Oh, man. I am so jealous right now.
I'm gonna die, Dave. Maybe tomorrow. I have another life. Wow, you were totally right. This definitely beat happy hour. There are serial killers hanging out here, right? Okay, look, you didn't have to come. I told you I had to get the track lighting. Ha! Huh. Listen to yourself. I've been on like this Joan of Arc model of misery routine for weeks. So here we go. I'm just saying, I get why you're depressed. You get up, you go to work, you come home, you watch Dance Moms for 12 hours, then you pass out and do it all over again. It's enough to make anybody miserable. If I lied to you and told you I was miserable, would that make you stop? I don't want you to be miserable. I just want you to be that Pam that I used to know, you know? The Pam who was like, it's 4 p.m., who cares? Let's go get drunk, or let's go on a crazy shopping spree, even though we both have no money in our bank accounts. The Pam that just had that, like, joie de vivre. Rihanna, I am happy. Like, you just don't understand what it's like to be in a relationship. There's a lot going on. Corey and I have got to, you know, finish stuff with the house. We're redecorating rooms, refinishing hardwood, installing track lighting. It's a lot. You know, there's just not enough time for joie de vivre. Okay, well, we better make some time for margaritas, because this bitch is craving. Okay. Oh, I wish you would have married James Bond instead of James Bland. James Bond? James Bond, really, because he was an emotionally unstable, womanizing alcoholic. Yeah, but that's kind of hot. Wow. This place is, uh, amazing. How come we've never hung out here before? You know, I'm funny. <laughs> You're wrong. You see, I'm Rodney fucking Dangerfield, man. I'm telling you, comedy is tragedy, and this place is fucking depressing. I warned you I had to pick up the light package, right? You knew what you were getting into. Right, you warned me, all right. And, uh, all this really excites you. Yes. This really excites me. Damn. You need a vacation. What? A vacation. A place you can, uh, swim with dolphins, a squirrel suit off a cliff. Hovercraft over a lake, I don't know. Just anything to feel your mojo that's so obviously been neutered by this suburban insanity. Yeah, well, I'd love to go to some tropical destination with warm sunshine and cold drinks months, but what problems is that solve? Hello? What the hell? I'm here now. Why would you have me come here if you were going to get it? Uh, okay. You really do have a lot of problems. A spy admits nothing. Yeah, well, uh, you're not a spy anymore. I think we should take a trip somewhere. Get out of here. Go where? I don't know, anywhere. England, France. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. Instead of reading and trying to replicate, you know, let's go. Boots on the ground. Taste the food. See Mount Everest. Just escape. I've always wanted to see Mount Everest. Mm -hmm. Cash in some airline miles. Go for a week. Just enough time to recharge. Refresh. Yeah, maybe you're right. Mm -hmm. Just forget about all our troubles, you know? What troubles? Not troubles, just stresses. Life's little crosses we all have to bear. Yeah. But we agreed that we would spend money on the house instead of carelessly dropping it on vacations. I mean, for instance, we still have to install the track lighting. Yeah, but do we really want the track lighting? Of course we want the track lighting. It's part of the lighting package that we have picked out. And if we don't have that, then what is the point of having this island in the kitchen without the island? Where are we going to put the stools that we have pre-ordered? Without stools, where's everyone going to congregate? At the dinner party. What dinner party? Corey. What? We're going to have a lot of dinner parties. We are? This. this is an intervention. I agree. <laughs> an intervention? What the fuck do I need an intervention for, Smuts? Listen, man. We know you're miserable. I'm miserable? No, I, I am not miserable. My life is great. We've been watching. 
Your life sucks. You've been spying on me. We're spies. That's what we do. Oh, my God. We wouldn't be true spies if we allowed you to waste away like this. Yeah, so you decided to shoot me. Great. I have to test the new Trank gun. Who the hell is this? Ramora, a.k.a. Suckerfish. Smuts gave me the code name. After you left, he brought me in to handle the grunt work he didn't want to do. Isn't that right, Smuts? Yeah. Thanks. He's, uh... I mean, he's, he's my minion, basically. <laughs> as much as I appreciate being dragged all the way down here and told my life sucks, you're wrong. I love my life. I love that I get to wake up every morning, go to work, and come home. No chance of being shot, no chance of being blown up. Now call me crazy, but the change is actually quite refreshing. Really? Corey, this is a safe place. Why do you keep talking like that? Corey, Smuts and I wanted to create a circle of trust so you felt comfortable. Corey, there's somebody we'd like you to meet. Fine. Then I'm leaving. Okay. Thank you. Corey, my name is Dr. Studebaker, and I have been doing some analysis on the field research I was provided. I prepared a few images. Frustration, anger, Pick one. denial, and finally acceptance. Bravo, Smuts. You put a few pictures together. What's the point? My point is the reason you can't settle into suburban life has nothing to do with the life itself. Oh, well, I can maintain an erection if that's what you're getting at. I know. We have the slides. Mm. Corey, you have unfinished business. What the hell are you talking about? You failed your last mission. And rather than face your failure, what did you do? You ran away. I believe that failure is causing these strong emotions of frustration in your present life. And until you succeed at a final mission, you won't be able to settle into a peaceful and tranquil existence. Well, thank you very, very much for the psychobabble bullshit, but trust me when I tell you my life is perfectly fine, okay? And the last thing I need is to chase some lunatic halfway across the globe. You know, you wouldn't have to go far. The mission's here. Egan's back. Great. Then you won't have to go far to get him, will you? Egan recently got married and is mysteriously honeymooning here. We believe he's trying to acquire plans for a weapon from the local cell. arrange for you to come back for this one mission. You start tomorrow. What the hell don't you understand, Smuts? I'm just not interested, okay? Corey, they're only doing this because they care about you. They want to help. Well, I don't need their help. And I damn sure don't need this fucking intervention. Huh? Huh. was right and you're only doing this so you can settle down in your married life? I hate you. Welcome back. Egan's set to arrive Friday before noon. You'll be staying in a suite at the Pines Hotel and unlike your perfect marriage, we're convinced his is a cover. So what's our strategy? You're to mirror his every move. You've come in town for your honeymoon. 
and you'll be staying in an adjacent suite with one of our field agents who's gonna pretend to be your wife. Hold on, hold on. Y you want me to pretend to be married to someone else? Yeah. This is the, this is the best you guys can come up with? Wow. You didn't drag me all the way down here for this, did you, Smuts? Smuts had me prepare the research, and all of our modeling confirms that pretending to be married gives us the greatest access. Isn't that... <laughs> Relax, Corey. You can still clip coupons, trim hedges, and come home to Pam every night. I just need you to bond with Egan and his missus and get the plans for a weapon that could wipe us all out. We don't know what it is. It could be a laser. It could be an atom bomb. I don't know. I just know lives are at risk. Are you willing to have blood on your hands because you're married all of a sudden? That's on you, brother. All right. Fine. I'll do it. But I'm only doing it for Pat. Once you befriend Egan and his new ride, you should be close enough to use this. Smuts let me play around in the lab for a few weeks and I came up with this. It's actually a visual lie detector. See these buttons? Itty bitty cameras. When you speak directly to Egan, it'll scan his face, send that information back to these monitors where we can determine if he's lying or not. And we're sure this works. Corey, you ever think about leaving Pam? No, absolutely not. It works. Let's make sure to fully weaponize Corey's house for his own protection. Oh, and since you're back, uh, We'll go ahead and pick up the tab on your domestic beers. Smuts, I'm on site. The preventative security measures are ready to be installed. You can count on me. I'm taking care of business, doing it by the book, attacking objectives, checking boxes. Hit. Smuts. Where the hell is Corey? Uh, he wanted me to tell you that he has set up several off-site meetings with potential buyers and that you should be proud of him because he's thinking outside of the box. Get back to work. ABC, always be cardboarding. Here's your key. Agent Van Zant's waiting for you inside. Here she's hot. What's your point? My point is, it's your job to hook up with her. I'm married, remember? Only doing this to get Egan to find closure. Uh-huh. <sighs> Trust me. Once this is over, it's gonna take my relationship to a whole nother level, all right? Sure. Oh, oh, hey, hold up. You're, uh, you're not coming in? Why would I do that? I don't know. We just always work together. Right. Uh... <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You're afraid to be alone in a room with a hot girl. What, what are you afraid you're gonna give in to the, uh, temptations on the other side of that door? All right, all like right. Like a real therapy session where you're just taking out your daily aggressions. Is that how you do it? And when it's all done, you guys just lay in like a kiddie pool of your own sweat in the middle of the bed, exhausted, but feeling good. The secret is safe with me, dude. Spies honor. You're an idiot. I hope you don't mind. I'm sort of a method spy. <sighs> method spy, huh? You know, like a method actress. I have to live it to be it. Right. And to be honest, our whole relationship, our marriage... I'm just not really feeling it. You're feeling what? Us together, as a couple. I mean, think about it. Would someone like me ever actually be attracted to someone like you? Oh. I see. And how do you know that someone like me would be attracted to someone like you? Because you look married. Okay. Where are you?
use everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I, uh, I got a ton of work to do, so don't worry now, okay? What's the skinny? I had to buy 50k in boxes from Corey so his boss wouldn't get suspicious. Got it. Did you consider spacing out the deliveries to make it look more legitimate? Just an idea. You wanna grab a beer after this? Smuts? Corey? Still up? Yeah, I couldn't sleep. What? What? What's going on? Do uh, you have? Oh, yeah. I got a cut. She thought a little stuff couldn't hurt. But it's, it's kind of ridiculous. Right? So maybe she went a little overboard. I don't see why you have to freak out about it. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not freaking out. A little bit. Okay, I am. But if I suddenly came home with some weird and crazy hair, do you freak out too? You did. You cut your hair short. Okay, what? But you're saying you don't like my hair? What? When I came home with a cut, you said you loved my hair. What was I supposed to say, Pam? Wow, honey, did you just join the Marines? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that our relationship was one based on looks alone. You know what I'm trying to say. No, I don't. Is there anything else you haven't told me yet? No. <sighs> what is going on? Hey, what's going on? What's wrong? Your chest. Oh, yeah. I used a little men's hair body removal cream. What's the big deal? Oh, my God. What? Nothing. It's just... You call me to tell me that you're working late, and uh, little did I know that you were on your way to the spa turning yourself into a metrosexual. Hmm. Everything just seems a little bit suspicious, that's all. Nothing is going on that needs to make you suspicious, okay? What was that? Uh, just something else I'm gonna have to fix. It's not happening. It can't be happening. Oh, it's happening. He's having an affair. Well, fucking duh, dude. God, it'd be so much easier if his ass didn't look so good in jeans. I mean, where the fuck did it go wrong? Where did it go wrong? I mean, come on, look at the guy. He sells fucking boxes for a living. He's desperate. Of course he's gonna fall for some firm-ass model who lives for alcohol and orgasms. He's probably shocked he could get her. I mean, I was shocked. Come on. Can you believe it? But what should I do? You know, do I, do I steal his phone? Yes. Pack it to his email? Fuck yeah. I can't just spy on the guy. Oh, yes, you can. Really? But I can't. You can. I shouldn't. You should. Oh, I'm just, what am I even talking about? I'm driving myself crazy. It's okay. It's okay to go crazy because he's a dick, okay? And dicks make bitches crazy. Look at me. You need to spy on him. That way you can catch him in the motel, you can kick down the door, and kick that collegiate nympho to the curb. And I'll be there, and I'll be videotaping everything. I'll put it on YouTube. We'll get a ton of views. It'll be great. This sounds driving me wild. Are we really going to sit here and listen to this shit all day long? Trust me, I've done a lot of sex stakeouts in my day. Either Egan's a really good spy or homeboy's really fucking. Excuse me. Oh, 
told you I'm method. My character is in the mood. All right, well, I am not method in my character. No. Uh, actually, this is a, a, a really bad angle for you. Can you just crane your neck to the left? What the hell are you doing? Huh? You're better than me, <laughs> Come on, man. This is for my Christmas party oh. blooper reel. Remember that footage oh. I got of you and Graciela from two years ago? So, how many times do I have to tell you that I am married? Well, personally, I think open relationships are quite progressive. Wow. You're a real freak, aren't you? I know. Just shut up and point the camera, all right? Now, if you could just get a little closer, make it feel real. Hello. Hey, baby. No, 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 no. We'll never use any of this wife stuff. It's not that kind of a movie. What am I up to? Just banging some, uh, banging out some boxes? Oh, no, there we go. No, 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 no. Do not do that. Do not do that. I will do it in 15 minutes and I'll be there. Just bring it down a little bit, please. Okay, bye. Listen, as much fun as this is, I have to go. Now? now? Yeah, now. You're the one who told me not to let Pam get suspicious, remember? Oh, you totally killed it. All smuts can fill in. Have a blast. I can't believe we're in the middle of a mission. So am I. It's called saving my marriage. It sounds like a mission impossible. What, that's stainless, what we talked about brushed nickel. Oh, well, we changed our mind. But the brushed nickel goes with the vanity handles. Yeah, I'm changing the vanity handles. So then what's the purpose of me even being here, Pam? I wanted your input. Was that? What? Nothing. I'm doing fine. Corey, you just had a guy in a headlock. Yeah, well, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? I mean, imagine if someone we knew had seen you acting like that. Mm -hmm. You never would have come to work at dinner parties. What dinner parties? Hey, Rick. Corey, get your ass in the office now. Okay. I'm on my way. I gotta get back to the office and see you then. Sure. Nice hair. Nice clothes. Nice ass. You uh, wanted to see me there, Rick. Cardboard Corey's back. He is. I'm going to the Pines Hotel. Three days, two nights, all expense paid. Boy, the Pines, that's, uh, I don't know what to say. You think you're shocked? I couldn't believe it when that 10,000 box order came through. 10,000? You broke the company record, broke my record, and damn near broke the world record. How'd you do it? Oh, you know, Rick, I, uh, just took your advice and thought outside the box. Mm-hmm. Well, you're not getting off that easy. I'm not. Starting today, I'm gonna have the rest of the guys follow us to your meetings, you know, see how a real professional does it. Well, Rick, you know, couldn't... I don't want the other guys to know, you know what I mean? I like to work alone. Just me, you know, it helps me kind of focus in. It takes teamwork to make a dream work. You did watch tape too, right? Yeah. Hey, Corey, congrats on that hotel thing. Yeah, thanks a lot, Bob. I thought I was gonna win this year, but, uh, 10,000 boxes, huh? That's something. Uh, trust me, it's nothing. Yeah, but I don't need a five-star suite. Just another place my wife wouldn't have sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. We'll see you tonight. Tonight? Oh, well, remember? We got the tournament. Diana's floral? Oh, shit. Yeah, right, of course. I'll see you guys at... 
I told you to be here at 6.03. It's 6.10. Where the hell were you? Oh, I'm sorry, Smuts. Before your little intervention, I had something called a life that I had to deal with. I was just called it pitiful. How tight are these? Ah. Well, it's funny you say that because this whole time I've been dealing with the fact that you bought 10,000 boxes for me in one day. What happened to the fact that I told you to space it out, you know, make it look legit? What do you expect me to do? Go in and fill out a form every day? I'm not gonna waste my time. I've got things to do. Things to do? Oh, that's great. Well, just so you know, thanks to you, now I'm dealing with heat from home, heat from work. Actually, I'm in heat. Who's that out loud? Yes. God damn it. All right. Let's get our head in the game. Claudia and Egan's restaurant reservation is for 7 p.m. How come your suit fits? Oh, thank you. He is not even going to recognize you. Brianna, I look like a hooker. I'm supposed to be undercover. Not conditioning the shit cups. Look, every year when I wanted to start my own business, I would go out and buy something smart, sophisticated. Something that says, I mean business. So this is me. Now finally saying, I mean business. I love it. You just need to add a red lip, girl, and you're done. God, who am I kidding? I can't do this. I don't want to do this. This is, this is not who I am. Pam, you listen to me, okay? You need to reclaim yourself. You are a sexy, wild bitch. That would be embarrassing. Some risks I'm worth taking. You see them? I mean, the sexy couple that's actually having a good time. Club soda. Hello, Martini. Club soda. Straight up with a twist. What are you doing? What are you doing? You need to be believable as my husband. Believable? Let's not forget I'm the one who's married here. Oh, please. I know a big night for you at home is probably watching reruns and eating leftovers, but our marriage isn't stuck on opposite sides of the bed. Oh, trust me, darling. My marriage happens all over the bed. Mm. Thank you. Cheers. Mm. Okay, big picture. We need to connect with Egan, so you need to connect with me. So drink up, look at me like you want to fuck me, and check your baggage with a bellhop. What baggage? What do you mean, what baggage? Remember, Corey, this is your intervention. You know about that. Consider that they might actually just be here on their honeymoon. No chance. Everything I do is too connected, forced. Trust me, that's not what married people do. Uh. <sighs> what are you doing? What? Should I stop? Is it bad? Huh? Is it not married people do? Alex, sit down. Why? Because you're drawing attention. Really? Yeah. Who's looking at me? Are the waiters watching? What about Egan? Is he watching? What about you? Are you watching? You're gonna blow this. Oh.
I'm sorry I borrowed your husband. This place was a little dead. Are you kidding? That was the most fun we've had on our honeymoon. Wait, you're on your honeymoon? We're on our honeymoon. Shut up. Yeah. Shut up. Oh, no, I love you. Hopefully we'll see you guys soon. We're gonna be hanging by the pool tomorrow. Just drop on by. Yeah? Yeah. I hope you don't mind if we turn in. I just got super tired. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, so now we have a pool date with them tomorrow. I guess you convinced them you want to fuck me. Shit, I gotta go. Go where? Bowling tournament. <laughs> you guys should have seen this home and garden show. Took up the entire civic center. I mean, they had pools, tubs, lawn care, everything. I even won a raffle. What'd you win? Leaf blower. Good one, too. Nice. Oh, shit. You're excited about a leaf blower, Bob? And you'll be, too. Come fall, all those trees in your yard, you're gonna be begging me to borrow it. <laughs> no, I, I just mean, there's gotta be more to get excited about, right? Leaf blowers and goddamn home shows? Is that it? It's an acquired appreciation. Look, all I'm saying is, have you guys even noticed that all we ever talk about is the yard or adding a deck or buying a new grill? I mean, there's got to be more to life than the fucking hardware store, am I right? No, not really. The only thing that excited me last year was when I put a kegerator in my garage. That was awesome. So you're telling me that this is all there is to life? What we're living right here, right now. This is it. Yeah. How hard is it? You get married. You watch each other go to complete hell. Have a kid, maybe two. Stop having sex, save for retirement. Get the golden handshake, play golf on the weekends. Take a dick pill. Realize that was a mistake. Pick out where you want your ashes scattered. Leave everything to the kids. And hopefully, you know, a lot of people show up at your funeral. I'll come to your funeral, Fred. Thanks, Ted. Corey, it's not like there's some grand adventure out there waiting for us. <laughs> We're just living life like everyone else. And you guys are okay with that? Yeah. yeah. Aren't you? Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> two messages from the guys wondering where you are. Well, I showed up late because I had to work like a big day at the office. Another one? Actually, I won the all-expense-paid resorts location. Well, then let's go. Wait, you want to go? Yes. Let's let's go this weekend. No, I, I can't. You, you can't what? You are the one that wanted to take a spur-of-the-moment trip. Why not do it? Because I can't. You know, all right? I mean, plus, I thought we were going to do stuff around the house. Like what? Let's try, buddy. Are you mocking me? Are you mocking me? Are you drunk? <laughs> I'm not drunk, fam. I had a few martinis and a couple of beers. What's gotten into you? What's gotten into you? I just want to do something different. And I just want to lay on the couch. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Blissfully committed to their simple routine, the cave people never felt the need to seek excitement from the outside world. Unfortunately for us, well, that outside world was quickly unraveling any sense of routine. Morning. Morning. 
Operation Catch Corey is back on. Rick says we're all going on a sales call together. Yeah, um, let me just confirm everything and we'll get on out of here. All righty. Wear clothes? Excuse me, what you're seeing here is top of the line tactical gear. This bikini she's wearing is completely bulletproof, fireproof, and waterproof. My character sees your character wearing this. Oh, I assumed you're small. You're telling me these can stop a bullet? Sure. Don't get shot. They're waiting down by the pool. Yeah, I'm not wearing these. You're gonna have to. They've already stitched the cameras in. Where? Just put it on. All right. I'll put them on. But I'm not doing it for you guys. I'm doing it for the mission. For Pam. stupid. I mean, here I am following my own husband into a fucking honeymoon suite. Oh my god, he's a freaking polygamist. I knew it. Everybody watches a couple episodes of Big Love and then they think they can do whatever they want. Sorry, honey, we're closed. Oh my god, that they are. Oh, it would just be so much easier if she was a mess, but she... Pam, I, I, I do not even want to hear what she looks like because there is no way in hell that she's prettier than you. All right, tell me what she looks like. Like some femme fatale Bond villain that just graduated from Harvard with a degree in, you know, fucking up my life. Stop. You have to take the reins here. You're his wife, okay? You cannot let this other woman win. Hey, you got it too far, right? <laughs> when we first decided to honeymoon here, so many people were like, oh, that's different. It's just so beautiful here. I know, I had never been to upstate New York before, but the moment he proposed, he insisted we had to honeymoon here. I'm at a total loss. This is not the man that I married. You need to go confront him. I can't. You can. What do you want me to do? You want me to drive up there? I'll drive up there and I will cut Corey's dick off. I will Lorraine a bob at that motherfucker. I will take his dick and I'll throw it in the forest and a little squirrel will pick it up and run away and put it in its nest and he'll never have it again. He'll be dickless. Th Brianna. Well, if I can cut his nuts off, if that's better, if the dick's too much, you know, I can always take the balls. My grandmother used to do it to hens all the time. No one's nuts are being cut off. <sighs> well, then you need to go confront him. So why did you decide to honeymoon in Glens Falls? We've been jet-setting around the world for almost the last two years straight for business, so we wanted something quaint and charming, a bit out of the way, off the grid. How about you guys? Mm -hmm. What made you select a place off the grid? Same. Off the grid is the desired honeymoon destination, am I right?
You know, service is kind of slow here. I think I'm gonna order from the bar. Do you guys want anything? Why don't we split a decent bottle of champagne? Great idea. Little birdies on the move. That's my birdie. You have something I need. Sunscreen, sweetheart, you're starting to burn. Fun. All right, Corey, play it off. Don't let Egan suspect anything. Oh, she's so good. Do you want to grab a beer or something after this? How many times do I have to tell you? I don't want to hate. I don't want to grab a beer. We're not going to watch the game together. Okay, I just see how cool you and Corey are, and I was hoping that someday you and I might have that. Be more than just two guys saving the world. Suckerfish, Corey and I, we've been buddies since we were teens. We were recruited together. We trained together. We've spoiled some pretty crazy plots around the globe. I mean... You know, I'm the only one that knows Corey's real name. Wow. You and I, we just, uh... We don't have that history. Yet. You and I don't have that history yet, but someday we might. I just don't really see that happening. Oh, shit, look who's here. Is there a reason you called me three times, Peter? I just stepped out of the meeting. Oh, what kind of meeting? A business meeting. Oh, yeah, what are you talking about? Why are you acting like this? Acting like what? I'm just trying to ask you about your day, see if you'll do all right. Curious what you're up to. That's why you called. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, actually, mm. I need you to stop by the store. What? Yeah, it's on your way home. Mm. <laughs> okay, fine, just uh, text it to me. Why can't you write it down? Pam, mm. Um, just tell me and I'll remember, okay? in your back. Pam? What? What's the matter? You have too many wives to remember. Pam, Pam just wait. What's with that? Oh! Ah. Oh. 
swear to God, we need to put a restraining order on yeah, her. She could be a little crazy, but maybe I should just check. That's his ex fiance. She's a tad bit delusional. Free trip, my sales are through the roof. T E A M. I want team players, not prima donnas. Guys, see what you're doing and start copping attitudes, doing things their way. Next thing you know, the whole company goes to shit because you want to play the game your way. I mean, I think I'm setting an example here, Rick. You know, raising the bar a little bit. What bar? What example? Huh? You just left. I don't even know where the hell you are right now. Well, I'm out of assignment. Bullshit. That's what I used to say to my wife when I was fucking her sister. That's it, Corey. You're fired. Oh, I would love to hear your explanation. Or you could just go with, I'm screwing somebody else. I'm not having an affair. Oh, no, I know. You married her. You're on your honeymoon. Congratulations. Pam, just listen to me. Calm down and let me explain myself. Who the fuck is that? The dinner party. Dinner party? What fucking dinner party, Pam? I mean, my God, you keep going on and on about these dinner parties that don't exist. We bought dishes, we bought barware. I installed a water feature all for these dinner parties that never seemed to happen. I am not canceling my dinner party just because you had some sordid affair. I wasn't cheating. All right, look, I'm going to tell them that we made a mistake and we'll do this another night. No. No, 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 you won't. You are not ruining my dinner party just because our marriage is over. Uh, is this one of those swingers parties? Because we didn't bring any rubbers. <laughs> we just thought that it would be fun tonight. Just be fun to get dressed up because... Yeah. Well, we wanted tonight to be a... It's a theme party. Yeah. What kind of theme? A spy theme dinner party. Yes, exactly. You see, 007 just got out of the pool. The major 99 here was just about to make some drinks. I've got martinis. Shaken, what's done? Who wants to be money fan? All right, shall we? Pam, we would have perfectly understood if you needed to cancel it. Why would I have to cancel? Well, if I got fired, the only party we'd be having that night is my funeral. <laughs> you know what? I think he did say something about that. You weren't supposed to say anything. Here are my Parmesan Portobello slices with some dried tomato. Oh, Pam, these are so good. Do you have a secret ingredient? Oh, I'm sorry, Bob. No secrets. What you see is what you get. No little white lies, no half-truths, no funny little fibs. Wow, will you excuse us a second? Why? No, they're fine. They already know that you lost your job. I just found out through Fred. Bob, Ted, Pam, you have to let me explain. Trust me. This way, it would be so much easier to split up the efforts. Corey, now that we're not competing over the trip, you want to tell me how you sold so many damn boxes? What the fuck is this? Brianna, are you okay? Am I okay? 
Am I okay? I just spent an hour in the car convincing myself you didn't leap to your death. And here you are having a... A, a, a dinner a, party. A dinner party? Yeah. Well, why wasn't I invited? It's sort of for couples mm. only. Oh, couples only. Why are you still wearing that costume? Because it's a spy-themed dinner party. Oh, a spy-themed dinner party. Oh, so fancy. You know what, Pam? I just can't believe after hours of me listening to your marital woes, this is how I'm treated. But the name's not taken. I'm Pussy Galore. <laughs> We have to get you. Hi, I'm Pam. I didn't get to introduce myself earlier because you're you're whoring yourself around with my husband. But I just wanted to let you know that tomorrow we are getting a divorce. But tonight, I'm having my dinner party. Okay. I came by to say that I'm sorry. Sorry you got caught. Or sorry that you're a whore that lacks style. Sorry because it wasn't what it looked like. Exactly. Don't insult my intelligence. No, I'm serious. Alexandra here is an actress. A method actress, actually. Superbly talented. <laughs> okay. I saw. Remember. Right. You see, sweetheart, I found out that a huge potential client and his wife were going to be honeymooning over at that hotel, so I thought, why not hire an actress to play my wife, go to the hotel, bond with the guy, and make a big sale? Yeah, I mean, it's completely legitimate. I've been in the business since I was a kid. Lots of musical theater. Yeah, whatever. Um, look, why don't you help yourself to a doggy bag, and then you can choke oh, on it? I'm staying here because Corey hired me to be here for the dinner party. That's right, I did. To do what? To teach dance. Hit the music. Dance with me. No, no, yeah, you're right. We should just keep this between us, but I like a little bit of insurance. No. I want my pen back with the plans on it delivered in an hour, and uh, why don't you gas up a jet? A jet? Mm hmm If I can't get it here by then... Then your wife will die. Oh, she's not his wife. This is his wife. Yeah, could someone just please explain to me what the hell is going on? The honey in my spine. Okay, enough of that charade already. No, I am. I'm serious. He worked for the government as part of an elite task force trained to stop high-tech futuristic weapons from falling in the hands of fuck faces like this guy. Okay, well, this definitely falls under reconcilable differences. Hello? This is my 
thoughts. I need you to bring me the pen right away. Okay. You guys weren't actually married. No. But your ring seemed so real. It was cubic zaconia. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Yeah. So was mine. Wait, but you guys seem so happy together. No, you guys seem so happy. Okay, Thank you. nobody's actually happy here, okay? Let's review. You and I aren't married. These two aren't married. The only people here that are really married are them. Oh, no. No, actually, we're getting a divorce. <sighs> oh, fuck, my lasagna. Oh, oh, excuse me? My lasagna, it's burning. I need to get it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you want this house to burn down? I don't care. For him, sweetheart, I don't think your lasagna is the key issue here. It's actually not my lasagna. It's stove. You were going to serve Stouffer's at our dinner party. Well, I was going to make it from scratch, but you in the midst of playing spy meets adulterer meets probably the worst husband in the world. Honey, I think you're overreacting just a little bit here, all right? I'm going to take care of this. Overreacting? Overreacting? Do you know how humiliating this is? You know how heartbreaking it is to have your marriage be over within a fucking... Oh, <laughs> in a year? Seriously, I, I'm now a statistic. I'm one of those, one of those people where you probably had some, I don't know, Navy SEAL mental training shit where you know how to handle all these sorts of situations and probably defuse a bomb under pressure. What the hell is she doing? I'm leaving. I'm packing my things. You can shoot me if you want, but otherwise I'm moving out. Can you stop her? Can you stop? Yeah, I could shoot her. to escape the confines of this ridiculous place. Pam, sweetheart, let's just get through this and we can reset, okay? We'll call it a second honeymoon. We can go to all those places, I promise. Okay, so now you don't mind about skipping our weekend projects? You know, putting off the track lighting, not even fixing the ceiling that constantly crumbles. How many times do I have to tell you, Pam, that I will get to it when I fucking get to it? It's a high-tech electrical charge particle solidifier. In short, force field. So you've just had this stuff here the whole time? Yeah, pretty much. Sorry. You, you never thought about pulling out one of these gizmos when we were getting intimate? You would have wanted that? Yeah, I would have tried that. Well, we can... Corey, I'm not having any more dinner parties.
Are you serious? Brianna, wasn't it your idea for me to get out of here and see the world? I mean, it was, and then we tried it, and it was really exhausting, you know? It's like kinky sex. You think you want it until you actually have it and end up with a penis in your ear. That's disgusting. Do you even have a plan? Yeah. What's your plan? To climb Mount Everest. To climb Mount Everest? Really? What are you, working for National Geographic now? excited about Rio. Okay, you must have forgotten about that night in the rainforest. I didn't forget about the night in the rainforest, Smuts. I just... Why can't we keep it simple, you know? Then in a movie. What? Okay. Okay, three feet, three feet, three feet. Okay, that's it. The sun's sizzling your brain. We've climbed too close. Come on, we need some UV. Here. Use this! It really works! Yeah, I know. I got the whole line. The under eye moisturizer is incredible, isn't it? Soothing, too. You really miss her, don't you? I do not. From my perspective, you never stopped loving her. No matter what your cover was, you can't disguise what's in your heart. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. You know, I really didn't hear what you said, but that sounded really fucking beautiful, sucker fish. Thanks, man. Yeah. Hey, you want to get a beer with me later on? I'd like that. Just kidding. <laughs> Enough of the sweet stuff. Let's move. <laughs> Enjoy the basket. It would have been perfect for the second dinner party. We never got to have. Dinner party. What dinner party? Is this? Corey, this is an intervention. Oh, God, not again. For what? Because you're miserable. I'm not miserable. Oh, no, 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 no. What? What? We start dating after the dinner party. You've been dating Brianna this whole time, and you didn't tell me? But what was I supposed to say? I mean, I'm in covert ops with your ex-wife's best friend. <laughs> I love it when he talks like that. You guys. 
figured you hated me. It was a total pain in the ass and completely self-centered. I don't care what you were. After I canned your ass, these guys wouldn't shut up about your spying tactics. When I finally let them try it, they broke all your sales records. Yep. Made him go method. We also got a bowling coach and kicked the shit out of Diana's floral. Bob's been wearing his wrist guard. <laughs> all right, well, this is all well and good, guys, but somebody, please tell me why the hell you went through all this trouble. And what for? Because I had to test the new Trank gun. It's actually my drink. Dude. So you're the reason for this intervention. Well, if you're not too busy trying to save the world, I thought we should give us another shot. A different shot. You know, if you hadn't been a spy, I would have never woken up and realized who I really am. And what about just being still, looking in the mirror? Where's the adventure in that, my dear? So does this mean we need to take a second honeymoon? Anywhere you want. What do you think about Cam and Dale? You know what they say. What happens in Kathmandu stays in Kathmandu. Kathmandu. Okay, so maybe the whole intervention thing was a little extreme. But if we embrace our primal caveman instincts instead of hiding from them in suburbia, we'll realize that every day can be an adventure. Thank <laughs> you.